something definitely to keep an eye on, John and Tina. Big area, that, isn't it? Mm. Bigger than we often get, it yeah. Is. It and uh, Carol, uh, side note, but there's a lot of appreciation for your snowy dress in the studio. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about that, Tina, but thank you. <laughs> it's the only thing that was ironed, to be honest. <laughs> Ironing? What's that? Um, thank you very much indeed, Carol. See you Thanks. later. Uh, it's 7.47. Yes, now, you may remember how a decade or so ago, the tomb of King Richard III was found underneath a car park in the centre of Leicester. Well, archaeologists have now made another major discovery just 50 yards away. It's not a car park this time. Uh, they found a Roman shrine beneath a former graveyard right next to Leicester Cathedral. And our Midlands correspondent, Phil Mackey, has been given exclusive access to the site. Have a look. Mm. Deep beneath Leicester city centre, they've been uncovering 2,000 years of history. So, we've been excavating here for about nine months now in this current... Matthew Morris is excited, and he's the man who unearthed the remains of Richard III in a car park barely 50 metres away ten years ago. In this corner, eight metres underground and right next door to Leicester Cathedral, they've made an important discovery. These are our sort of special artefacts that we've had out so far, so a lovely wow. intact Roman hairpin. That's incredible. A late first century Roman brooch. And then this is our star find at the minute. This, we're pretty certain, is going to be the base of a Roman altar, a portable Roman altar, so it probably been about this high originally. It may not look much, but this is likely to have been part of a subterranean shrine in a large home in Roman Leicester, or Rati, as it was known at the time. Most of it's buried underneath modern Leicester. This was a rare opportunity to excavate. It's because the cathedral's building a new visitor center. They knew it would be interesting, but didn't know how much they'd find. There's always been a tradition that Leicester Cathedral was built on a Roman temple, based on antiquarian discoveries in the 19th century. And it's always been hard to judge whether that was true or not up to now, but we're now finding a Roman building that looks like it might have a shrine status to it, so some sort of element, private worship maybe, but maybe there's a, a retention of memory through the centuries from that Roman building to the cathedral being built on top of it. What the dig gives you is a slice of Leicester's history. So at the very bottom, you've got the original Iron Age sediment. That gravel, those gravel layers are Roman settlements. Above that, medieval. Now, Richard III would have been here a little bit above that top layer. Above that, the Victorian layer. And way above me, the current ground level. They knew the area had been a graveyard for centuries, but they didn't know exactly how long. These burials were from around the time of the Norman Conquest. These two children were buried much earlier than that. They're probably from the early Anglo-Saxon period, maybe 8th century. That gives the archaeologists more evidence of what happened after the Romans left Leicester. In all, they recovered more than 1,100 sets of human remains. After analysis, they will be reburied. This 3D image shows the excavation at the end of the dig, but now the work's complete, it's all being filled back in again. Phil Mackey, BBC News, Leicester. Absolutely fascinating, mm, isn't it? Yes. Should we go above ground? Yes, please. <laughs> uh, above ground, and uh, to someone who's taken us across the world,